before has one school captured both the men's and women's titles in the same year. We are at the uh, 30th reunion of the national championship teams, the Mules and the Jennies, 1983-1984. Uh, we started today with a luncheon at noon, and then we'll go to the men and the women's basketball games. I think we're being honored at halftime of the men's game, and then there's a reception directly after the men's game at the clubhouse at the golf course. I have lots of good memories from the 1984 season. Obviously the best one being winning the national championship. Um, on that particular night, the men's game, that they played their championship game first, and it was live on ESPN, and ours was tape delayed. And so we had kind of been favored all year. We were supposed to do well, but the men weren't. And so for them to go first and to actually win the national championship, put a little bit of pressure on us, like, oh my gosh. Um, so we got to celebrate a little bit with them because obviously we were preparing for our game. But then for the men to come rushing onto the floor after our championship, you know, back to back, was really exciting. And I'll just never forget that moment of our men's team running onto the floor with our fans and celebrating a double championship in the same gym on the same day. It was just unbelievable. I think just the fact that uh, every place we went, uh, you know, we were ranked in the top two or three in the nation. and and uh, just uh, the big deal of uh, coming to each town and the big crowds and, and, uh, and then the girls being, uh, you know, we were, we were both ranked in the top uh, three or four and, uh, you know, just a lot of uh, excitement, you know, before every game and uh, just the, the whole atmosphere was great and uh, Central was always a, a great basketball town and, uh, you know, that's one of the things that, that I remember is the fans were uh, supported us so well and uh, got behind us and uh, made it really uh, a lot of fun. My advice to the Jennings basketball team would be to always play as a team and to utilize each other's strengths and to help cover up your teammates' weaknesses. I think it would be to, to keep working hard. Um, you know, anything's possible. You know, uh, we, you know we, we always thought, thought we could do it, you know, and, and uh, Coach, really, uh, you know, every opportunity you get, um, put it out there. And even in practice and games, you know, and continue to get better, and, and, and good things will happen if you have that attitude. So what, what I, you know, when I came here, uh, just wanted to be a part of a team, uh, you know, and, and, and fit in and, and, and do my job, and then, uh, and then to win a national championship, and then uh, to be uh, inducted into this Hall of Fame, uh, such a great uh, school, great basketball school, is uh, a great honor. Uh, and uh, you know, and, and I owe everything to my teammates and coaches because that, that's why it was possible for me to have this honor. I have many good memories of the Berg. I love coming back here and I laugh that like the house that I lived in 30 years ago is still there and is still occupied. Um, it is also fun to see the changes, the uh, improvements on the campus, the new things. I mean, the football stadium is completely renovated. Um, I think most of my memories though from Warrensburg, honestly, are the people. Um, a lot of them diehard fans that are still fans today and the friendships that I made while I was here. I think uh, when we came back to town after the, uh, the double national championship, uh, you know, the, the excitement around town, uh, you know, you were, uh, you were a celebrity for a few days. Uh, even, uh, so it, that, that was really neat. Everybody knew you. and, and uh, and everybody was uh, real fired up. We had a real nice assembly and uh, that, that kind of stands out. To come back and to see my teammates after 30 years is a lot of fun. Uh, surprisingly, I recognize most of them because you would think, you know, a lot of things have changed over the years, but um, it's just, it's almost like time, you know, no time has passed and we can pick up almost right where we left off. Well, I'd like to see more of them, but everybody lives so far away, but it's nice and uh, you know, it's it's good to hear stories and see people hear about their families and everything. And, and it's been a while. We haven't got together very much, so it's uh, extra exciting, I guess, because we haven't seen each other. You got a great thing going here in Central Missouri, and uh, I, uh, you know, I coach basketball. And, and if I think there's anybody that has a chance to play here, that's a great town. Uh, it's a great school. They have a great facility. It's a basketball town, and uh, and uh, just uh, glad I uh, had an opportunity to be a part of it. I would just like to say to um, the students at Warrensburg that, you know, enjoy your time here. Take advantage of the, 
small town atmosphere and the relationships and friendships that you make because they are for a lifetime. It might not seem like that now, but it is, I can tell you that. And, and also to get out and support the teams. You know that we have good competitive teams here in Warrensburg and take advantage of that. Get involved, go out and cheer them on.